Hey Cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. So for 2023, I decided to make a resolution that I would only set myself up for success. So one of my New Year's resolution is to buy more plants. And I did a really, really good job on that resolution. And I even got a head start on it. So over the winter break, I visited several nurseries, even beyond the winter break. And I wanted to show you what I picked up. So on that trip to Box Cactus Nursery, in Tucson, Arizona, which I made a video of. I did take home a couple of plants with me, so let me show you which two plants I took. Hey, Cookie. Oop. So I bought two plants during that trip. One of them is this Ferrocactus glaucusens inermis. This was kind of a pricey plant. It was $100, but I just couldn't say no. It's a really nice size, and I love the shape, and I love the fluffy tuft at the top. And the second plant that I took home during that trip is this Ubelmania Pecnifera, which I don't have one. I would say this was probably one of the better deals at $11, and this is in a you know, three and a quarter inch pot or so. I've been keeping this one indoors under the grow lights just because I'm not sure how cold tolerant it is, but hopefully I can keep it alive. So after I went to box, I kind of fell in love with Mammillaria all over again. So I went to Arizona Cactus Sales just to go look around and just looking around turned into buying plants. So I picked up this Mammillaria, which I forgot what the species is. This was $40, but it's nice and big. It's a nice clump. And I have to figure out what I want to do with this. Do I want to put it in the ground or do I want to pot this up? I have to figure that out. Hey, Cookie. And then another plant I had been eyeing for a while at Arizona Cactus Sales is this agave over here. And I moved on to the other side so I could read the label. This is an agave potatorum var kichoka marginata. And it's just so beautiful and it pups like crazy. So I am thinking that at some point I will take this out of this. I think this is a two gallon pot and then probably propagate the pups on here. Another plant that I picked up from Arizona Cactus Sales is this Mammillaria species. It was $5. The reason why I got it was because this one has just some nice white fluff on it. I'm also deciding what to do with this one. And then I got this plant, a Mammillaria species as well, but to me it Looks like it's got gymnospina in it. It was $10 and it was grown by Matt at AZX Plants. Matt also has a, an Etsy store called Barren Valley, which I'll put a link to um, in the description below. Okay, and then comes my last haul at B&B Cactus Farm in Tucson. Uh, when we went on our celebratory shopping trip, I took home three plants and let me show you what they are. So the first one is something I have always wanted, which is the Ferrocactus chrysocanthus. And you can see this is $18. That's, that is you know, not cheap at all. But this one just had the thickest spines with the most beautiful coloration and I couldn't say no. Like if you saw in the video, there were larger specimens, but this one, this one was the one that was for me. Another plant that I picked up was a notocactus that I have never heard of. It is called, actually I had one of the employees ID it for me and he gave me the label, which is the notocactus atonis with the nickname Indian Head. I don't know if the color comes through on video, but it was this kind of a green gray coloration that completely attracted me and made it so I couldn't say no because this was not a, not cheap either. This was $55. And they had a couple other specimens in these dishes there, but this particular one was the one that had to go home with me. Do any of you have experience with this plant or know about this plant? This is the first time that I've heard of it. It's really interesting. All right, last but not least from B&B &B is this agave, 
which I paused on during the video. Now interestingly, if you look at the Potatorum, kind of zoom out a bit so you can see them in the same frame, they're kind of similar but different. Both of them have this variegation to them, but it's kind of different. You see that? But the, there's one big difference is that this terminal spine, if you see on this agave, which is ID'd as the agave Appalanta cream spike, which I've seen before sold as pups on like eBay and Etsy. I've never seen one that's this large in real life before. So when I was at BNB, originally this pot did not have um, a label on it, so I didn't know what it was. And it was at the checkout counter that that employee also ID'd this for me. I had no idea that a larger specimen was so gorgeous. It's these terminal spines. My goodness. This was not cheap either. This was $75. But I just couldn't say no. So this agave, this notocactus, and this ferrocactus are the three celebratory plants that I purchased from B&B &B Cactus Farm. And so hopefully I can keep them alive and we can just watch them grow together as time goes on. All right, so this was a really quick video on my latest cactus plant haul from over the winter break and slightly past the winter break. I think I am giving myself an A++ on my New Year's resolution of buying more plants. So proud of myself. So maybe this will be the first time I will say that I can guarantee this will not be my last plant haul. There will be more to come. All right, everyone, this was a short and sweet video. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your 2023. And I will be back with more videos. Take care, you all. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.